Week six matchup is just around the corner versus the Seattle Seahawks. Now we've had a lot of luck against the Seattle Seahawks in Seattle, but nobody's been asking the biggest question out there. What happens if we don't get the win up there? What happens to Cliff Kingsbury? What's going on Arizona sports fan family? Appreciate you guys for tuning back in. Definitely do me one huge favor. Smack the like button on this video and subscribe for more Arizona Cardinals content. We are on the road to 10K and I can't do it without you guys. We are less than 300 away, so we got this. Definitely subscribe it up. It's free. Let's get this going, ladies and gentlemen. But let's talk about the big topic going into this video here. And that's basically talking about the Seattle Seahawks versus the Arizona Cardinals week six matchup. Now, the big storylines is that the Arizona Cardinals... Signed back Matt Amendola as their kicker. Matt Prater is not going to be playing. And it looks like our running back situation right now is pretty scarce. If you guys don't know, we ended up signing a lot of running backs to our practice squad. Um, but we still have James Conner day to day, right? We got a lot of hype coming around Eno Benjamin, which I'm really excited about. But we'll have to kind of wait to see how it all shakes out. Now, this game... Um, in the beginning of the season, I thought this was going to be an easy win for the Arizona Cardinals, right? You're looking at the Seattle Seahawks and you're saying that's a rebuilding team. They don't have Russell Wilson, but Geno Smith has come up and made himself a focal point in this offense. Now, we already have some Seattle Seahawks fans talking about that this guy is going to be the future for the Seattle Seahawks. Now, I wouldn't go out that far and say that, but the Arizona Cardinals have a tough matchup to, you know, play against the Seattle Seahawks in week six. Yes, we're playing in Seattle. Yes, this is an away game, but any time we play a division rival there's going to be a chance of you know the Arizona Cardinals not winning that's just kind of the way the, the NFC West works here now let's talk about this game just a little bit here nobody's really talking about the aftermath and what would happen if we don't win this game right now everything is coming into the favor of the Arizona Cardinals at least in the perspective of Arizona Cardinal fans right we got the better running back core as long as everybody's playing in my opinion the wide receiving core I think they're they're pretty lined up if we had DeAndre Hopkins that would be a different storyline now our defense is better than their defense right but the head coaches right cliff kingsbury to, to pete carroll we don't 100 percent know pete carroll does have a super bowl where cliff kingsbury hasn't really won a playoff game at this very moment so as of right now both teams are sitting at two and three on the 2022 season and both teams want to win this game i don't think seattle seahawks want to rebuild i think they want to win and i think that's one of the scary things coming into this game where they have a lot of young players right their defense does look a little scarce like it doesn't look very good but they have a lot of young players a lot of hungry players that really want to win this game and you know any given Sunday now what happens if the Arizona Cardinals don't win this game right what if we start off the 2022 season at two and four what happens there, right? I think that's the biggest question that a lot of people don't want to ask themselves, but I'm really, I'm, I'm sitting here asking you guys, what do you think the Arizona Cardinals should do? Now, I'll give you my opinion in this whole situation, but go ahead and take some time to put some comments on the, you know, the comments below here. Do you want Cliff Kingsbury fired? Or are you saying DeAndre Hopkins is coming back the next week? If we should be fine, we're going on a streak. Let me know in the comments. Here are my thoughts on this whole situation. Now, I've never been a big fan of Cliff Kingsbury personally. If you've been rocking with the AZ Sports fan here on YouTube, you know that since year one or maybe year two, talking about Cliff Kingsbury, I, I, I wasn't a fan of him not being able to finish a season off strong, right? Um, and, you know, always being that team that is almost there, but just not enough. And I feel like that's kind of the mantra of the, the you know, not persona, but like what the organization of the Arizona Cardinals culture is, right? They're trying to celebrate the little wins. Now, if you take a look at Cliff Kingsbury, yes, we got five and a half wins to eight wins to 11 wins, but right now we haven't really done very much in the three years, in my personal opinion, because we haven't won a playoff game. Now, any other organization, it, this wouldn't fly. I almost promise you it, it wouldn't take four years to win a playoff game with any organization. But for the Cardinals, yes, that's kind of what we have to accept because we're not used to getting a young quarterback and molding him and, and try to make him that superstar, that franchise quarterback. But Kyler Murray did get paid. So in sense, he is our franchise quarterback. Now, I know there's a lot of fans out there that are not a fan of you know, Kyler Murray. Now, I'm still a big advocate of I want to see what Kyler can do with another head coach. That's just kind of where I am in this whole situation. Now, going back to Cliff Kingsbury, what happens to him, right, if we don't win this game? Now, I don't think that the Arizona Cardinals are going to do anything rash after this game if we lose, but I do believe he's going to land himself in the hot seat for the rest of the season. Now, it's going to be put under a microscope. Yes, he got an extension, but I think in the grand scheme of things, if he's not producing, 
why keep Cliff Kingsbury for the 2023 season, right? I don't think we're going to fire him midseason unless we go completely, you know, nosedive crash and we only win five to six games. And that's a completely different story there. But I think the Arizona Cardinals will reevaluate what happens at the end of the year. Um, if we, you know, win seven, eight, maybe nine games. Now, personally, that's not enough for me if I was the owner, but I understand how this Cardinal organization is. We like to celebrate the little things. And I think that it's time for the, you know, Arizona Cardinal fans to really voice their opinions out there. I've seen a lot of people on Twitter, a lot of people on other social medias that want Cliff Kingsbury gone. I've gone to plenty of games this year and I've seen other fan bases taking over State Farm Stadium. So if that hasn't been any, you know, a voice of reason for, you know, Michael Bidwell, I don't know what else fans need to do. They're not interested in this team. They're not interested in Cliff Kingsbury. They would rather sell their tickets than then be prideful, right, in State Farm Stadium. Now, I don't blame those fans either. We've lost eight straight times in State Farm Stadium, and no other organization will accept that except the Arizona Cardinals, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know how you feel about Cliff Kingsbury and the state of this Arizona Cardinal team so far. Put everything in the comments below. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day, and go Cards.